the probability of getting a 6 and the probability of not getting a 6. In one attempt, this would be 1 by 6. In the this would be 5 by 6. In two attempts, see, this would be many cases because one case would be that you get it in the first time, not, not the second time. Second case would be you get it the second time but not the first time. And third case, then you get it both the times and all the probabilities would need to be added. So that would take a lot of time. A smarter way would be to find out the probability of not getting the 6 uh, both the times. So that would be 5 by 6 into 5 by 6. That's 25 by 36. As long as this ratio is more than 6, uh, as in more than 0.6, this is going to be uh, less than 0.4. So 25 upon 36 is definitely more than 0.6. This is more than 0.7. So this is uh, definitely less than 0.3. So two attempts are not enough. Three attempts, this would be now 5 by 6 cube, which is going to be 125 upon 216. So see, 21 into 6 is 126. So 216 is going to be even bigger. So this is going to be just a bit less than 0 0.6. See, 21 into 6 is 126. So this is a bit more than 210 and this is a bit less than 126. So the ratio is going to be less than 0 0.6. If this ratio is less than 0 0.6, this is going to be more than 0 0.4. So three attempts are going to be sufficient. Don't worry about this. It's just a dummy answer. The right answer is option A.